Okay, let's discuss briefly the solution to the bird feeder problem which I posted yesterday. It was the problem of the day. You may have noticed that the bird feeder is very special. It's squirrel proof. If a squirrel would try to get seeds out of it, the openings would close. So there's a gate that goes down. That doesn't happen when light birds try to get seeds. The seeds do not come out, as some of you have suggested, because of the rotational effect, like centrifugal forces, not at all. The, f the seeds come only out because the birds just pick at them. The red bird, the bird with the red head, beautiful, is a woodpecker. They are pains in the neck because they make holes, not only in trees, but also in the wood of houses. They can make hundreds of holes. They do that to find insects, to find food. And of course, you have to have your house repaired with all these holes. Okay, let's now talk about the physics of the bird feeder. Torsional pendulum, swinging pendulum. Let's assume the bird feeder is hanging still, not rotating, not swinging, and a bird, mass n, speed v, arrives at the bird feeder radially inwards, aimed right at the center of, mass, center of mass. That is what we would call then a one-dimensional inelastic collision. It's inelastic because the bird stops on the, on the bird feeder. So kinetic energy is not conserved, not at all. You lose kinetic energy into heat but momentum is conserved. So it's a very easy problem. If the bird's mass is m and its speed is v, and if the speed after the collision is v prime, and if the mass of the bird feeder is capital M, then you have a simple equation mv equals m plus capital M times v prime. A simple, straightforward, one-dimensional inelastic collision. If the bird doesn't hit the bird feeder exactly radially inwards to the center of mass, then the problem is way more complicated. Yes, then angular momentum is conserved, but the whole geometry is so ill-defined that it wouldn't be so easy to calculate. In any case, angular momentum conservation does not mean at all that kinetic energy is consumed. So again, it would, there would be loss of kinetic energy. You can make a drawing and see whether you can approximate maybe the bird feeder by a solid cylinder and then hit it with a mass small m, the bird feeder mass capital M. You may have to know the radius of that cylinder and then you can solve for the conservation of angular momentum depending upon how far from the center of mass the bird hits. Again, kinetic energy is not conserved. You lose energy. So now what happens when a bird is on the bird feeder, sitting still and flying off? Well, surely kinetic energy is not conserved because there is no kinetic energy when the bird is sitting there and the bird feeder is not moving, but afterwards there is kinetic energy both in terms of the bird and in terms of the pendulum and the torsional pendulum. So
So the only thing that would be conserved if the bird flies readily out is momentum. The momentum of the bird is in the direction that it's flying off and the momentum of the bird feeder would be in the opposite direction so that the net momentum is zero. There's no such thing as any conservation of energy, at least not mechanical energy. Uh, the bird is generating work, is doing work. Not all that work will actually be able to go into mechanical energy. It's not an easy problem at all. If the bird flies into the bird feeder, not aimed at the center of mass, then always two things will happen. The torsional pendulum will start to rotate and it will also at the same time start to swing. Don't even try <laughs> to solve this problem analytically. It, it, it's a bit of a mess. can be done, but it is a bit of a mess. So that's all what I wanted to say about the bird feeder. Tomorrow is Saturday. I will post the problem for the season, for the holiday season. It's not an easy problem. It's not extremely difficult, but it's not easy. I will post the solutions probably two weeks later, maybe three weeks later. That all depends on how long or how many responses I get. All wrong solutions I will definitely post. All correct solutions for sure I will not post. So please don't ask me is my solution correct or is it wrong. If I don't post your solution there is a probability that it's right but that's not 100% sure. Okay? I hope you enjoy the problem that I will post tomorrow. It's one of my favorite problems and I hope that many of you will try to solve it. Yes, it's a simple harmonic motion. Take care.